This is a question about cell growth kinetics for a microorganism. In the question, it states that it's already growing at its maximum specific growth rate. So from that, we can start to solve the problem. We know that Rg, the growth rate of some cells, is equal to this differential, dc by dt. And we know that this growth rate is equal to the specific growth rate, mu, times the concentration of cells C, C. So we can integrate this equation in terms of concentration and time in order to solve for mu. So we can, we can do this by putting 1 over this concentration. So put this um, concentration value onto the left hand side of the equation of the C and by moving this time um, derivative to the right hand side putting our limits in of C of our final concentration and of our initial concentration of cells and our final time and our initial time so integrating the left hand side, we get ln of C. And on the right hand side, we get mu T final minus T initial. We can put our limits into the left hand side and we will get log, natural log of C of our final concentration minus natural log of our initial concentration. To this right hand side again. And from the laws of logs, we can simplify the left hand side to log of final concentration over initial concentration. I. Now, as the question states that the cell, the question states that the cells are growing at their maximum specific growth rate, so mu is equal to mu max, and the question asks for the maximum specific growth rate, so we can rearrange this equation here for mu max. So. Yet we get mu max is equal to log, natural log of our concentration difference over our initial concentration divided by our time component. Now, as the cells are growing at their maximum specific growth rate, we can use any set of values, any set of Correspond corresponding values from this table in order to solve this problem. So when we solve it, we'll use our time limits at naught and one day uh, and our corresponding biomass concentrations of 75 milligrams per litre and 50 milligrams per litre. So we can write mu max is equal to log of 75 over 50 divided by 1 minus 0 and this will give us 0 0.4 days to the minus 1 for our maximum specific growth rate. Part B of the question asks us to find the population size after 25 days so we can find this using the relationship we derived in part A so we derive this relationship between the concentration and the time where the final concentration over the initial concentration is equal to the specific growth rate mu max times the time um, component um, initial and final. By putting both sides to the exponent we can rearrange for our final concentration so if we put the left hand side everything on the left power of uh, E and on the right power of E, we get C 
CCF over CI is equal to e to the power of mu max and our time differential. Laws of logs, this simplifies the our concentration difference. C C F over C C I is equal to E to the power of mu max T final minus T I and we can bring our initial concentration to the right hand side to solve for our final concentration C C F. Um, and as the question asks for the concentration after 25 days, we can just sub our values in. So our final concentration is equal to our initial concentration, which is 50 grams milligrams per litre, times e to the power of 0.4, um, which is the specific maximum growth rate, times 25 which is our final time in days minus naught. And when we calculate this through, we get our final concentration to be 1.1 times 10 to the 6 milligrams per litre.